నమస్కారం సద్గురు హౌ డు ఐ డీల్ విత్ పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ కాన్స్టెంట్లీ అబ్యూజివ్ అండ్ ఆర్ ఎక్సూడింగ్ నెగటివ్ ఎనర్జీ నా లీవ్ ఆల్ దిస్ నెగటివ్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ ఆల్ దిస్ స్టాఫ్ ఓకే డోంట్ గెట్ ఇన్ ఆల్ దట్ నాట్ సెన్స్ సంబర్ ఈస్ నెగటివ్ ఇన్ దర్ యాటిట్యూడ్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ అ చాయిస్ డోంట్ డీల్ విత్ దెమ్ బట్ యూ మ్యారీ టు దెమ్ or they happen to be your children or they happen to be somebody else that you can't get rid of them if it is so then uh, let's see if you can transform them if you cannot give them to me <laughs> or if nothing works you insulate yourself against them that's all there's no other way how <laughs> don't react to anything that they do unless they're getting physically abusive if they're getting physically abusive you leave there's no point see outside if you have a little bit of trees around you insects are screaming through the night do you try to decipher what they're saying they may be cursing the hell out of you you don't decipher all that isn't it One hundred insects are screaming whole night. You don't try to decipher what they are saying, isn't it? You just listen. You get used to that and you ignore that. You do just the same. They are talking lots of nonsense. Why are you giving meaning to their words? They are only making sounds, isn't it? Yes. Just stop understanding the language for some time. Blah, 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 they are doing. You know. somebody is blabbering it looks funny and nice it's okay you did everything possible and there's nothing you can do about this person but still for some reason for social economic and other kinds of reasons you're stuck if it is so just listen to the sounds of their language don't attach any meaning to the words that they're saying because most people anyway don't know what they're talking isn't it isn't it so if they knew what they were talking they would be talking sense people are talking senselessly because they don't know what they're talking so you just leave them there best thing is try to transform them you owe that to people around you if you cannot try to hand them over to me if you cannot if you don't want to be with them try to go away if you cannot just treat them like the insects compassionately but not attaching too much importance to what they're saying or not attaching any importance to what they're saying that's all if they're going to bite you then you know what to do with the insect don't you yes the insect is sitting outside on the tree and screaming it's okay if it comes and sits on your face and bites you you know what to do isn't it 